All right, this is an example of how to put together a timeline, also known as a sequence of events or a chronology for an incident. So every issue or problem or incident that you have in your company has a chronological order in which it happened. So the format we use is vertical. We build it down the page. Excel is an easy way to do that. There are really just three headers that we use, the date of the incident, the time that it happened, and then the description. So in this simple example, the timeline can start very basic. As I said, we, we build this vertically, meaning it goes down the page. It's the nice thing about chronology. It builds in a straight line. So if you're working an issue and someone says, well, this happened on you know, April 14th at 1140, that's when the ship hit an iceberg. You just add it as a line. If someone says, well, on the 15th, it, it's really about 2 o'clock is when it sank. This happened after it hit an iceberg, so you just put it after. We leave a couple spaces in between and you leave a gap at the beginning because you're going to add more information, obviously. What's nice about Excel is that you can come in here and say, oh, I need to put some information in between um, 11.40 and 2 a.m. I want to add some detail in there. This timeline can start very basic with just obviously one or two line items. It can go to three or four. Here's a more detailed timeline, but again, the format stays the same. We have the date. It starts back in 1908 of when construction began, the actual uh, completion of the ship, when you load it with passengers, and then we're back down here on April 14th when at 1140 it hit an iceberg and then it's got some more detail. And in between here we can add as much detail as we need. So the nice thing about this, the format, it builds very easily on a page. Regardless how detailed it gets, this timeline maybe has uh, what 41 rows here that are added. You could have a timeline that has 150 rows depending on the size of the incident you're working and how much detail you need to add. But remember it starts very basic. The three columns are date, time, description. These are in our Excel template. Um, it's already built for you and you can just go in and use the Excel file. It's just a very easy way to get started when it starts very simple. Again, this is all you've got as a timeline is two line items, but you can add as much detail as you need on your incident. It's a great way to organize the detail within one of your issues and understand the order in which things occurred.